Hi guys, this is Karen. In today's class, we are going to learn about how to make harder things in Scratch. So let's move on. I hope you will enjoy the session. Please do comment. Let's move on to the Scratch page. So I don't want to have a cat over here. So the first step is to choose a nice backdrop. So I'm just clicking here. Maybe are images. Maybe you can check for PNGs too. So PNGs will give you the better result. Let's click on images. Hmm. This is also good. You can also search for haunted house.png, harder png, like that. You can just search search for other things to see. There are a number of images over here. You can just download whatever you want to get, whatever you want to have. Right click, then click save images. So it will be saved on your computer. Got it? So you can add some two or three of the similar fashion. So it will be help you to switch off the backdrops. Is it okay? yeah now we will just upload the sprite so it's not fitting so i'm just going here using the select tool you can just select it with the help of select tool and resize that one but still it's not fitting so i'm just increasing the size over here yeah now it's perfect so the first, I just upload the backdrop as a sprite because I just want to do some effects over there. That's why I'm just uploading the backdrop as a sprite. You can just upload two or more sprites too. It will be helpful for you to switch. It's up to you. Then click here. Make it big. Give it to full size. Yes. Hmm. I'm just giving us some wire and ten. So it's almost full now. Okay, so in this way you can just thing over there. Now I just want to code the first one. So with harder things, we have to add a harder music. The music will uh, give the user the feel, something like a scary feel, a dark night feel like that. So you can just check for the harder music too. You can just go for free download option. It will be available there. There are a number of harder musics. You can just download anything you want by clicking on the download button okay so now you just you just need to upload the music so go to sounds then click here then upload sound then just search for the sound maybe in the downloads mm -hmm. yeah so that sound is ready so take a green flag first And play the sound. It's up to you. You can just give forever. You can just use forever. Otherwise, you can just use uh, maybe only once. It's up to you. Now click on run. You could hear the sound. It's up to you. The, the taste and the thing. It's up to you. You can just choose anything you like. Got it? Now I just want to make uh, maybe maybe a welcome note to the harder day. So I'm just giving this one as go to friend layer. So it will be in the friend layer. I just want this one to be in the friend layer. Then I just want to make another one sprite. Uh, maybe paint. That will suit better. 
So going for the painting option and taking the text tool over here and choosing the color as red. I guess red suits well. Then you can just give welcome to hire again. You can just write whatever you want to write. It's done. Okay. So take your green flag again and give go to friend player. Okay. Fine. Now the next thing is that I'm just taking a repeat. Just give your go to. Then you, you can take a repeat. Maybe some 50 times. Then you can give some turn. Maybe some 30. It will just help you to make a quick turn. <coughs> then just add weight. Maybe some point 0.1 or point 0.2 seconds. Okay. So after this, you can just add point in direction. So that will not affect the sprites direction. So please add point in direction before and after. It will just help to be in point in 90 always. Then take repeat one more repeat over here and give this one as 50. And, th and give this one as 50. You can just give this one as 50. Then you can take this one change. Yeah, change size, change size by minus one maybe, and you can give some weight again, so it will be nice to see. Wait again for 0.1 second, then you can hide the sprite I guess. So you can just give hide, and you can just give show. Let's check out this one. Okay, let's check out this one. So in this way, the thing will be good. So you can just set the size. If the size is continuously reducing, then you have to set the size at the start. So set the size at the start, so it will be 100 when you start it. Okay, so the very important thing is the background and the next important thing is the music. So now I just want to make some glide over here. So maybe I'm just putting in this way. Uh, it's here. So I'm just giving a go to first. Then I'm just gliding it to be in the top. Okay, so that's it. It will be some 40 and it will be some 180. So it has to be done after after the sprite. So I just want to broadcast a message here. So maybe anything of your own choice. I'm just giving a broadcast here. Next. So I'm just giving a broadcast and go this way and take when is it next, then glide. Maybe some two seconds, so it will be very slow, I guess. Okay, so let's see how it works.
so glide then you can just give hide so it will be hidden now see okay so now here is the next right so i just want to continue here so i'm just taking the next event over here maybe you can just skip the next broadcast i'm just giving a new message maybe next one so i'm just going here so when i receive next one give show So take a green flag out and hide the sprite. Then you can just wait for one second. Then you can switch the costume. So for switching costume, what you have to do? Right click, duplicate. Then I just want to paint something over here of red. So I'm just painting like this. So you can just do anything you want to do. Then switch costume to hybrid two. Then the first costume is hybrid four, so give here hybrid three. If you want to add a screen song or something like that, you can just add another song here. So let's have a check now to start the hybrid game. Oh, it's not showing up this one. Let's pick some header over here. I need to give show. Yeah. So in this way, you can just start a harder game. Then you can just build the game with the help of some more events and broadcast. Okay. So. I have just given an introduction part how to make an error game. Maybe in the next video, I will be coding fully to tell you, to enumerate you how to make a complete error game. Okay. I guess you will like the video. Thanks for watching.